morning to everybody. This presentation is entitled 3D Scaffold to Mimic Extracellular Matrix Evaluation of the Cell Electroporation. It's a working collaboration between Padova and Insubria University in Italy. Electrochemotherapy uses electric field to permeabilize a cell membrane and enhance the effect of chemotherapy drug. The uh, electro electrochemotherapy is a voltage pass like the one represented in figure 100 microsecond long with a period of 200 microsecond and where the amplitude can be tuned depending on the electrode used. The voltage pulse uh, generates an electric field in the tissue and a current could be measured. The, a short history of the electrochemotherapy. Electrooperation studies uh, start in uh, in the 70 years of the last century. With the first study is with the belay of Memoran and Zimmerman uh, publish um, the electric breakdown of cell membrane result in 1974. It's Newman that uh, um, publish a paper related to gene transfer into cell in 1982. Is uh, mere that uh, in uh, 1999 publish the result related to mechanism of electrochemotherapy, electroporation with drug in order to enhance drug uh, incoming in the cell. Is uh, the 2000 where Mir uh, published a review of uh, therapeutic aesthetic of in vivo electropermeabilization. It's 10 years after that uh, Professor Mir uh, described technological advancement for electroporation in clinical practice in the treatment of tumor. Now, uh, electroporation is uh, a practical. Uh, um, clinical practice that is used for the treatment of skin tumor like melanoma or breast cancer recurrence of cast wall and also for other type of tumor like uh, aggressive fibromatosis, pancreatic, head and neck and other. Electroporation could be also used as a gene therapy in order to improve the gene um, uh, in the cell. Is uh, 2000 that uh, Miro described electrochemotherapy, then or electroporation of cell for different type of therapy. The increment of non-permanent molecular in living cell, introducing of non-permanent molecular in living cell, gene therapy, um, transfection of DNA in cell for ablation. There is three different type of therapy that involve electropermeabilization. These three different uh, therapy depends on frequency, amplitude, and number of the voltage pulse applied to the tissue, tissue. Then three different parameters with three different with different value all over different type of therapy. A short resume for uh, electrochemotherapy use. Uh, Electric field intensity between 400 and 900 volt per centimeter, pass 100 microsecond long, with a lower electric field intensity and higher duration pass, we can introduce deliver DNA in the cell with a different electric field intensity, we can obtain cell fusion 
with very high intense electric field we can destroy cell membrane. In electrochemotherapy, the electroporation, electropermeabilization of the cell membrane is a transient phenomenon and after a few minutes, cell oiling. In uh, irreversible electroporation, electric field is so high that cell membrane is black and can be resealed. That is ablation therapy. Electroporation, uh, electrochemotherapy improve the drug uptake. We can put in the tissue the drug, we inject the drug in the tissue, we apply the electric field voltage pulse to the tissue, cell membrane open and permeabilize and allow the increment of the uh, drug inside the cell. After a few minutes, cell resealing and encapsulate drug. Then drugs are more effective by electroporation. Why? Because some drugs are not permanent molecular, are not able to go inside the cell and to uh, act at toxicity drug. Uh, and other are less permanent molecular. Then what is occur? When we are able to permeabilize a cell with some molecular, in uh, around the cell, some molecule, this type of molecule co can go inside the cell. And for instance, as bleomycin is a not a permanent molecule, very very efficacy with a high efficacy. The bleomycin are not able to go inside the cell alone, but if you are able to permeabilize the cell, it the toxicity increment of 105,000 times. Also for cisplatin, electroporation increment the toxicity of uh, not so much like bleomycin, but there is an increment of uh, um, toxicity. For other molecules, like this one here, toxorubicin, vimlastin, vicrinstin, uh, electroporation is not uh, uh, produce any increment of toxicity. Then in electroporation, the selected uh, drugs are, are uh, for in vivo tests are bleomycin and dysplatin. Bleomycin is a uh, uh, cheaper molecule, but very, very effective in with electroporation. And uh, the answer of the tumor is 78% uh, of the tumor, of treated tumor, uh, and the answer is partial or complete. Then uh, there is an increment of the answer of the tumor, of the tumor to the one. What, uh, what, oh, what electrochemistry? We have to choose an electrode, a needle electrode or plate electrode. We have to intro inject the drug inside the cell. The bleomycin biodisponibility is 20 minutes, a short time. In this short time, we have to apply voltage pass to the treatment area. And the pass are uh, uh, 100 uh, microseconds long at 5 kilohertz. This frequency reduces the muscle contraction. The voltage amplitude depends on the needle distance. Then we use the electrode, this is 7, 8 electrode, needle, needle electrode or plate electrode. In, uh, there is uh, some uh, pro procedure that uh, are standardized by the group of Professor Mir in ESOP uh, protocol. ESOP is a European standard operating procedure on electrochemotherapy. Uh, before ESOP result, there is a lot of experiment in, in vivo or in vitro 
and there is a lot of data for different type of tumor with different protocol and so on. Then at the start, there is a confusing, uh, not homogeneous protocol. There is a lot of patient in uh, 10 here. 247 patients, 1,000 tumor treated, deep type of tumor melanoma, basal carcinoma, squamosa, adenal carcinoma, or skin tumor because they are visible on the uh, patient. The research observed a complete response of uh, the melanoma is uh, close to 50% and higher depends on the type of drugs or the subministration. For non-melanoma um, tumor also the unrest is higher, 50%, over 50%. In the ISOP protocol, ISO protocol studied the standard procedure in ACT gives some standard procedure in ACT, reorganize all available data and give some procedure in order to use electrochemotherapy. Involve different research groups from France, Spain, Ireland, and Denmark. There is a typical electrode used the needle or plate electrode and give some indication. A unificated protocol in the selection of a patient, drug selection, therapy cycle selection, results validation is that the year of the trial is up. That's finished in 2006. The treated tumor are melanoma, carcinoma, and sarcoma. With the result, give so show a complete answer of the tumor in the 70, over the 70% of cases, and someone a partial answer. After uh, is open, there is a process of trial. Then here, uh, for three here of process of trial. Here, the uh, medical doctor show improvement of quality of life patient, uh, increment of a patient to do a daily activity and relationships that are also important in the life of the patient. Then, uh, uh, electrochemotherapy give an improvement of quality of life after treatment. The, treat, the treated tumor melanoma carcinoma and also breast cancer recurrence and then neck uh, and then neck tumor. Uh, in Italy, unfortunately, this is the last step therapy. And but this therapy shows a high efficacy because here there is the data. 50% of complete answer, partial answer is also so high, and no uh, chance, chance uh, is lower. Then, uh, electrochemotherapy for some type of tumor is very, very interesting. Then, but uh, electroporation is a voltage passed, probably has a cell, but electric field is. Uh, distribution inside the tissue depend on electrical property of the tissue. Then in, in non-homogeneous target tissue electric field is influenced by electrical property of the tissue. Then what is occur? Uh, we analyze in some model the, the influence of extracellular matrix around the cell. Uh, using 3D culture on hyaluronic acid or in ketosan, and we show what is occur. In this case, you have a sarcoma where there is fat tissue, fibrous tissue, and here we apply the electric pulse. Cells are surrounded by stroma, then we have difference in morphology, like in this case, and uh, difference in conductivity. For instance, fat at basal. Basal uh, condition is 20 millisecond, millisiemens per meter and collagen fibrous 
part is 0 0.2 Siemens per meter. What is the what is the conductivity in an homogeneous sample? Over fracture tissue conductivity, electrocorrection, or modify. Uh, when we have uh, uh, a homogeneous condition, the electric field has this shape, is homogeneous uh, tissue. But in inhomogeneous tissue, the shape of the electric field is different with respect to this case. For instance, this case here or this case. This case, we provide some experiment like this. We have take potato that become dark if it is electroporator, few hours after electroporation, and we put in, a, in half of the model we put potato in another half we put a gel, gel with a different conductivity 0 0.9 and 0 0.3 we see that the electric field shape is different in these two cases and also in the experiment the amplitude of the electroporate area is lower in this case the inhomogeneity affect the electrical proper, uh, the electric field distribution. Here there is an experiment with uh, in literature where uh, cells are electroporated in suspension, in suspension with medium with uh, different uh, conductivity. In equal medium, essential medium uh, with a conductivity of one dot. Five Siemens per meter cell uh, in increasing the electric field intensity. Here there is conductivity, here the number of paths. The uh, conductivity is not affected by, uh, or the old suspension is not affected by, um, not so much affected by the uh, electroporation. But uh, if you consider low conductivity medium with a conductivity of 0 0.127, here you can observe increasing number of paths and increasing the voltage applied, the electric field. In the conductivity, we see an increment, increment increasing the volt number of voltage. Then uh, the uh, suspension medium affects conductivity of electroporated sample. Here there is an experiment where we, we performed on some type of sarcoma. Here we have take image of sarcoma. We put on this image the electrode. We use a seven needle. It's a six needle around, one in the center. Here of each couple, we apply a voltage sequence of eight pulse, and you observe there, here there is inhomogeneity when we, the question is what is occurring in electroporation. We know that fibrous and fat part of the tissue show different electric conductivity. We apply, we have Using a seven needle, we have a 12 needle pair. We apply eight paths for each needle pair for these four. Uh, we use pile by pile. We have uh, the sequence of voltage paths. We can compute the resistance one over. We for each pass here you show a continuous uh, wave. Here there is, there is the pass. Here there is a continuous voltage, a continuous current. Then you can compute resistance by the ratio between voltage and current in a con uh, continuous way. And uh, for each couple uh, of needle, you can evaluate our resistance. Then we, in a, a volume with an area, a section of one, 1 1.5 centimeter square, you can compute uh, 20, uh, 12 
resistance. We, you can uh, do an average of uh, the 12 resistance and obtain a resistance value for a volume, treated volume. What is it? We observe, we treated um, a lot uh, of ex vivo sarcoma with different morphology and we observe that the fat uh, sarcoma, fat-based sarcoma, show a resistance between uh, close to 1000 home, lipoma and uh, uh, sarcoma, and uh, sarcoma with uh, fibrous stroma show a resistance lower than 100 and the mixed sarcoma show a lower resistance. Then we observe a difference in type of cell, fatty or non-fatty, stroma, difference for the stroma in cell density, in cell size. This difference show different resistance value. Then there is uh, influence of the stroma and type of cell, the cell density, cell stroma, and so on. Then electrical property influence the current density in the tissue, and uh, the electric field distribution is uh, um, affected by inhomogeneity. Then uh, the question is uh, over influence uh, electric uh, property in homogeneity, the electroporation. We need uh, of a model that includes more variable to mimic cell in the environment because uh, in electroporation study are performed in cell suspension, cell in adhesion, in CD, or now in spheroid or in hydrogen. But this type of three-dimensional model are easy to handle, but are not all cells are able to force spheroid, and uh, spheroid are, are relevant for uh, intracellular junction, but they are limited in cell is extracellular matrix uh, junction. In uh, this uh, study, we propose a 3D scaffold for cell culture with the aim to mimic the mixoid environmental form found in some type of tumor, and we obtain also extracellular matrix formation. Now, new scaffolds are based on hyaluronic acid and self assembling peptide and are studied to. Uh, study extracellular metric influence on electroporation efficiency. We have developed um, scaffold in polycaprot and in ketosan. The read scaffold is mimetic of the mixed stroma because uh, it not contain any collagen um, inside in the mix. It's a cross-linked and lyophilic matrix composed by hyaluronic acid and self-assembly peptide, condensed with a laminin adhesion motif. Here there is an image of SEM microscope, here there is an image of fiberat microscope, and is an image of ESM microscope. Here we put inside the cell in this structure, it's just like a sponge. There is no collagen added, but after we see the cell, after a few days, we found cell, the black points and the collagen fever. We staining here the collagen fever, and uh, the scaffold was modified by the cell we see. That. Here we see that the different type of breast cancer line, and we found different morphology, morphology. Here there is the cell and the uh, extracellular matrix. Here is collagen, here blue is collagen, here red is collagen, it's different staining, and this occurs after seven days. We found collagen and lemony. Here there is the formation also the spheroid 
there is the only hyaluronic acid culture, there is uh, some sporadium not so much, after seven days not uh, disappear, after three days we found. In our scaffold is this one, this one we use, there is a lot of scoli of spheroid and formation of extracellular matrix, spheroid and collagen. Here there is a viability test where we use a resolution assay. It's not so easy to evaluate uh, um, viability in this type of culture. This um, type of molecular is able. Here there is PCR uh, for collagen. Uh, and laminin. Here is immunofluorescence for laminin. Is the green is laminin. Here there is an increment of production of collagen and laminin. Uh, here there is a, a, a test of electrophoration in the scaffold. A lower, at no electric field, there is not electrophoric cell at uh, 1,000 to 1,300 watts per centimeter of solar electrophorated. There is an increment of electrophorated cell increasing the electric, electric field intensity. What is uh, giving information about uh, the influence of uh, extracellular matrix? There is extracellular matrix. Here there is a control other than cell, GD, in RPMI, what is observed? There is only in a 1000 uh, volt per centimeter electric field, only 9% of cells were electroporated. Red cells are uh, mar cell marked with propidium, that is a molecule that uh, go inside the cell if they are electroporated, permeabilized. Um, here is an experiment in uh, with the RPMI, cell, uh, cell culture medium, but with the scaffold. Here, in 1000 volt per centimeter electric field intensity, there is 80% of cell that are electroporated. Then, scaffold with collagen around the cell, with the most red, there is collagen, improve the electroporation. Then, in homogeneous in tissue affect electroporation, the same applied volts generate difference in the distribution of electric field influences electroporation and homogeneous could affect the treatment efficacy. In this second part, I present a ketosome based breast cancer cell culture, a promising tool for in vitro evaluation of the cancer treatment. In this, um, before we present the hyaluronic and, uh, acid with self assembly peptide model using ACC19454 cell line, and now I present the result related to ketosome model. In this model, cell express collagen, laminin, and stemness mark. We use this model for in vitro drug investigation. Here, there is the morphology of the um, sample in uh, stained with hematocidin and diosine. Are all shown the cell. Here, there is the cell. We are no cell. There is the here there is the scaffold. Here there is uh, an uh, actin staining where the, uh, the green show actin is uh, in 2D culture, not so much. Here in 3D culture, in, in ketosome model, there is uh, a higher intensity of green in the actin. Here we show uh, the morphology with uh, uh, collagen. Here there is the mesh on staining. Blue is the collagen here with the arrow. And uh, here there is the immunofluorescence that show also collagen in green. Here there is three mo the model without cell, with cell and 2D. There is a lot of collagen. And here there is the result of PCR, real-time PCR, where the, uh, the analysis show an increment of uh, expression of collagen in ketosan model and laminin.
Here, this is the result of stemness marker with search for. We found that in the model with collagen, the, uh, in the model with the ketosan, 3D model, and the stemness markers are overexpressed. Here, there is the spheroid marker in ketosan. There is a lot of spheroid with respect to this uh, culture. Here, there is image in 2D and in ketosan. And in ketosan model, we found also um, ecaderin and n -caderin, uh, expression. Ecaderin uh, is uh, not expressed in ketosan model. This is uh, uh, adhesion, is an adhesion protein is, uh, that uh, shows a desert cell. And uh, there is a lot of ecaderin in uh, 2D model, and uh, there is not in a ketosan model. In ketosan model, is overexpressed and caderin that uh, show the ability of the cell to migrate at mesenchymal target. Then the scaffold culture in ketosan generate a more aggressive cell culture in mesenchymal target. Uh, we used this type of, of culture in ketosan to test one drug, is uh, doxorubicin. We put uh, in uh, in 2D and in ketosan culture the, uh, the doxorubicin, and we found the viabil by viability test that uh, in ketosan the doxorubicin is less efficacy efficacy with respect to the same molecular in 2D culture. In this image, in marked by arrow, you found uh, some red uh, cells. Red uh, is uh, the fluorescence of uh, the doxorubicin. And uh, there is a lot in 2D. And there is not so much in 3D model in ketosan. Then we, there is a not so much cell that uh, um, are inside doxorbis. The last experiment we perform is electroporation in a ketosan model. We found that increasing the electric field uh, amplitude inside the culture, the uh, viability of the cell after electric field application is uh, constant, so close to constant since 2D um, culture, not the death by electric field alone, but in ketosan, the cell viability decreases with increasing the electric field. Then ketosan modified the viability in electroporation condition with respect to cell in adhesion. Uh, could be the presence of collagen inside the 3D culture that's modified the electrical property of the scaffold and the cell culture. Thank you for attention.